Hi guys, this is Duncan from Dunksweb.com. Today we're going to be talking about user scripts for the web. User scripts are little pieces of code that you put into an add-on. In my case, this is Tampa Monkey for Chrome. You can get Grease Monkey for Firefox and a bunch of others for the other browsers. They're little pieces of code that can apply themselves to certain websites you visit and change their functionality so you can add extra things to the websites you visit. Now, I have seven here I'm going to show you. I've actually got eight. Uh, one of them is actually just to redirect the uh, redirects userscripts.org to a mirror. That's because userscripts.org, which was the, the main site to download these has actually been shut down uh, so ignore that one for the minute wait 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 hold your horses Duncan before you tell people about it you forgot to give them the warning that there are a lot of pieces of malware out there contained in these codes so be very careful which ones you download because a lot of them might contain malware try and keep away from the Facebook auto likers because they normally go and auto like their page rather than your page be very careful out there guys Anyway, back to normal programming. Let's just get straight into it. The first one is anti-adware. This is something that was uh, published recently and uh, has been making us ray around the blogs. It allows you to remove, as you see, force download accelerators, managers, and adware. So you see all the sites that it applies it to in here. So if we go to, for example, get uh, get.adobe.com slash flash player, I've actually got the download link here. You can see when I go to download flash, uh, normally there'd be a button here to install an extra thing. Now what you can do is disable things on the fly and if I was to refresh this you'll see exactly what it showed before. And this is what a lot of websites and things do when you go to download things from them. They'll add this little optional thing here. So no, I don't want to install the McAfee Scan Plus. So that's where anti-adware comes in very useful. The next one is direct Google. So normally when you go to go Google and do a search, a search uh, you'll find a bunch of results and if you go to copy the link from that so right click and copy link address and go to paste it to someone you'll have an extremely long link that's because Google's tracking where you're going but with direct Google if I control V you'll see I have the exact same link that was posted under the actual thing itself you also notice that it's brought the cached button back which can be very useful if a website's down and you need a specific piece of information it saves you a click from clicking the down arrow and lets you know about it being an HTTPS as well so that is direct Google next one is Google favicons you might have seen it I'll do I'll do a search again and you'll see uh, all of them actually have little icons next to them this is not really what Google does on standard and I'm surprised it doesn't really because it does pretty it up a little bit than just block text but yeah just little icons next to each search the next one is the Google Translator tooltip expanded so what we'll do is we'll go to wikipedia.org and we'll go to Espanol and Google usually would offer to translate it. It hasn't done it in this case. So I'm just going to grab a piece of text from here. So I don't know what any of this means. And you'll see there's a little translate on the bottom right. I hover over it and it tells me in English what this actually means. So if there's certain sites, you just want to see what a specific text says. You can do that here. You can change the options, which has kind of gone off the screen there. You can uh, translate from certain things. I've gone from detect language to English. You can change the text up and add various things and just save it out. And the next time you go to use it. Another thing is if you go to show the details, I actually show you the meaning of specific words in the text that you're looking at. So you could do individual words and it'll tell you exactly what that means, or it can try and translate a whole thing for you. So it's pretty useful stuff. Now the next one is the mouse over pop-up image viewer. So let's go to images.google.com and just search for the classic Apple. And as you can see, if I hover over, there we go, it gives me a nice little hover over image every time I go over anything. Um, in the case that it can't display a file or it can't find it, it will do this. So if we go to this, for example, and if I want to just simply open that image within a new tab to either, I don't know, save it out, use it in a project, which I don't recommend if you haven't got the rights to, but you just press the T button and there we go. It's found the exact image I want. I can zoom in and whatnot. You can actually do that uh, when you right click as well. You can sort of uh, do the little zoom there, just right click once and then zoom up and down and it will do it for you too. So pretty cool. The next one is uh, the stop overzealous embedding. Now the best way I can show you this is to actually go on a thread on my forum. 
this will uh, try and load a bunch of YouTube videos. What we basically have is a thread that says what you're listening to, and it will try and load through all of them. But that can get quite frustrating if you if you have like a, a page that has YouTube overload and has 10,000 uh, YouTube videos, you'll see that it's suddenly cut out, and now we just have the links. So everyone who's posted everything has just now got the links, and there's no embeds here, and it does work itself on various websites. Pretty cool stuff. And the final one is top and down buttons everywhere. So again, we'll go to a Wikipedia article. And I'll go to an English one this time. Let's choose the first one we can. An industrial fire. And as I go to scroll down, you'll notice that we have these little arrows on the right next to the scroll bar. This is kind of auto-scrolling. What it can do is you see I'm hovering over the up one or the down one. You can actually start to read it and it will automatically scroll for you so you can take your hands away from the PC, start reading it, or if you just want to go straight to the bottom, you click it and it will automatically go straight to the bottom for you so you can play with it if you want. But that is top and down buttons everywhere. So that's about it. Feel free to share your user scripts in the description, or sorry, in the comments. I'll leave the links to this in the description. And uh, feel free to come over to dunksweb.com and I'll see you guys in the next video.